You had confessions oh. on Fridays. You could get you could get off you could get off study to go to confession. So once once every week. And then you you'd sit in the long pews. There was a, it was a special room like that. There was an organ in it. Yeah, it was the oratory. Artery room. Yeah. That was the only time you got into that room, wasn't it? There was a few confessions. Well I used to play because I used to play the organ and practice yeah. in there all the time. So I was in there all How the time. How many confessionals was there in it? There was a bit There was one. no there was there was there was eight I'd say. Confession boxes. Uh, yeah, there was enough there for four priests and like two at either side. So there would have been. So there'd be the two. There'd be our the, two deans. Like uh, no, there'd be random. It would depend. Did we used to get no. There, actually, there was always two two yeah. priests used to from, come from our from, school. No, two priests used to come from outside okay. from the from parish of Mullingar. You had two of them. You had nine foot Nulty, who was an enormously tall man, yeah. and then we had this guy called Sexy Sam. He, he's the only one that really kind of sticks in my head now because I remember. We used to try and avoid him if you could. And you'd be on a seat. Ah, some lads would take him on on purpose just to wreck with him. Well, I, I didn't like him. Yeah, I didn't particularly creepy. like him either, but... And then you'd be kind of... The next available queue, you know, you didn't know whose number was going to... You know, Basically, you what, gonna, you, you, what you would get. do when you would go down there is you would try and sit in the seat whereby it would take longest for you. Like, you wanted to be the last person to go into confession so you'd always be trying to sit so it would, you'd be sitting there for an hour waiting mm, to get into confession mm, mm. so that, like you wouldn't have to go back to study hall yeah. and, but there was Sexy Sam was a complete pervert you'd yeah. go in and he, he'd go ah I'd say so he'd say do, do you ever think about touching yourself or when you're thinking about girls or stuff Normally like that Normally like a, like a kind of confession you, you, you kind of come up with, with your sins and you tell them your sins and then you're absolved and whatever, but he would suggest sins, and they were usually sins of the carnal nature. Car- carnal nature, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, what twelve-year-old, thirteen-year-old, fourteen-year-old, fifteen-year-old doesn't think about sex? Like, yeah. they think about sex all the time. Like, so <laughs> he was gonna, he was definitely, you, he was definitely kind of, um, he was pushing your buttons there. Like, really, uh, he he was looking, he was fishing for. Oh man, he was, he was probably some t- gratification from He him, was he? touching himself up in the confessional, I have been little doubt. I remember, do you remember you there at the time? There was a fellow called Jaxie and he went in and he was a total piss taker and he went into him and he goes he goes, uh, do you have any impure thoughts? That's what that's the way yeah. he would say it. Do yeah. you have any impure thoughts? Yeah. And he says, Well yes I do, father, I do, father. And he says, And would you be thinking about a how about a girl, is it? And he said, no, not a girl, father. And he said, well, sometimes when young fellas are growing up, they can be a bit confused and they might think of uh, a young fella. And he's, he's like, no, father, it wasn't a young fella either. <laughs> and he said, what, is it? what would you be thinking of? He says, a sheep, father. And he said, Get out! <laughs> And he'd open the door and went and pick them up by the hot collar and his hair and fucked them out the oratory. Oh man, the whole place lit up. He was a creep. 